everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited because in this video, we're gonna be doing a fantastic wig recreation. It is a sequel to the sequel. So I guess that makes it like the trequel, the, the trilogy. I don't know how filmographies work, but still, here's how it's going to go. I am going to recreate the Bob the Drag Queen purse first impressions wig. And this time we're gonna elevate this wig even more. We've done, you know, a recreation with synthetic wigs, you know, and then we did the OG wig. Now we're going to do the third time. We're gonna elevate it even more. And I thought, well, how can we do that? It's gonna be in human hair. Yes, to break this down for you folks, it's sort of like, you know, it's gone from the stage to Broadway to now it's ready for film and television. <laughs> Yes, oh my gosh. So I have here two human hair wigs. I have this fiery copper one that I dyed myself from a human hair wig that I just happened to have. Also, I got this wig, someone gave it to me. It's not dyed the best, but it'll work perfectly for the base of this wig because it's two wigs in one, you know, two colors. It's like a coppery honey blonde color and then a fiery wig on top. What we're going to do here is we're going to make the most elevated, most pristine, human hair version of the purse first impressions wig. Yes, that is what's happening. So I'm gonna get reset right here and we're gonna start making our wig. All right, be right back. <laughs> all right, we are back. I have the wig all pinned down to the block. Now it's time to get started. First things first, I need to straighten this out because I gave her a bit of a wash and she got a little bit, you know, bedraggled. Like the wave came back into it from the original, you know, hair texture. So we're gonna take that out and make it straight. I have me a hot comb from Hot to Whoa! Ah! I almost had a goddamn house fire is what I almost had, Jesus. Okay, I have here a hot comb from Hot Tools. I'm gonna use a little bit of heat protectant spray. Now, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way, I've learned. I've used too much of it before in the past and <laughs> it tends to get the hair really, really, really oily. So, just a little bit goes a long way. Here we go. Now, I'm not the best with a hot comb. Like, I'm still learning how a lot of this stuff with human hair works. When you actually get one, like, invest in it, girls. They are sickening. Especially if you just want the hair to get straight quick. I just want it straight so I can curl it. And all I'm doing here is just taking that little bit of a body wave out that happens when it gets washed. Now, I am so excited that Bob actually wore the wig I recreated on the pit stop with Thorgy Thor. <laughs> the amount of lives that this wig has had it cracks me up. And I like the fact that she likes it enough that she wears it. <laughs> what a bold choice. What a bold choice that just shows how full of fashion Bob is. She is a trendsetter. She's a legend, she's an icon, and she is the moment. And I guarantee you six years from now, everyone will be wearing wigs like that. Everyone will have their hair styled like that. And you'll be looking at Bob like, wow, look at what she can do. The power, you know, the influence. <laughs> oh, I forget how boring this is sometimes. Just pulling the comb through. But it is a necessary evil if I want to curl the hair. And then I can turn this off for now because I don't really need it right now. After Afterwards, okay. How do I turn, oh, there, there's the off button. Okay, Call, cool down, cool down. Now, here is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to style this one because it takes really no time at all to style a human hair wig. Like they're awfully quick, the process. At least what I found when I do it, human hair is really, really quick to style, which is probably why it's so popular. Let me just move these around so I don't burn my friggin' house down. Oy, this is also the thing. I need to get like a little desk, like a hairstylist desk so I could actually like put the hot tools in a place where they're not gonna like fall. That's my biggest fear is I know I'm eventually gonna burn my house down because a curling iron falls on the floor and I had no idea it was there. I just know these things, okay? I'm having a premonition right now, okay? It's a vision. All right, now, here we go. Or like I'm accidentally gonna like put the curling put the curling iron down in the wrong place and I'll pick it up by the hot part and then I'll have no access to my hands anymore. Like these are the fears that I live with, you know? The things I carry. Many of us know the ways of our downfalls. I'm one of those people. I know that eventually I'm going to grab a hot curling iron and that'll be the end of me. Oh, I'm just curling the hair. I'm gonna curl all of this. I'm probably gonna do a couple on camera because I have to curl two, literally two wigs and then combine them and style them. So there's a lot happening right here. So we're gonna jump around quite a bit. And I decided with this time around, I'm going to do my best to make something that's very, very pristine and like, you know, how this wig would look if she was becoming a television star with her own show. You know, she's that girl. You stay right there, you little precious curl. 
<laughs> How have you guys been? Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't talked to you in ages. I myself, I've been fine, you know, just laying low, having fun, enjoying myself, you know? Taking a little me time, a little R&R, a &R, little TLC, little um, 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 AA, whatever it is, you know, just taking time for myself. I've only done one wig for Bob, other than like, you know, the recreations. When um, Bob the Drake came to Las Vegas, she actually had her luggage lost. Yeah, from coming to LA to Vegas, imagine the trauma with that, like a, a 40 minute flight and they lost your luggage. So she was scrambling last minute to find drag for her show. She was playing a venue here with her comedy, so it's like really a big deal, you know? So she was scrambling last minute to find everything. Larry Edwards, Hot Chocolate, came through to help her out. And also like, I saw the tweets and thought, well, what the hell, and shot her a message and she came by and I just happened to have some hair laying around. I know she has a certain style that she likes and it really worked out, you know? We made a base wig with a beehive she could pin on top of it. I even gave her a little miniature cage that Ernie had built. Like he made this really cool like a miniature cage that you could put on top of the wig and it holds the structure so if you put a full wig on top of it, you know, you don't have to do much and it's very lightweight. You know, the whole gaggle of drag queens came through to help her. Roxy, Naomi, Derek, me, like all of us Vegas girls got together to help her out to make sure she can go on stage feeling the best she possibly could. All right, now I got two here curled and I pinned them up to keep the curl intact. I'm gonna do the rest of the head and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. I have everything all curled. She is ready to come down so we can start styling her. Glorious curls. that will probably be lost the second I start combing through them, but you know what it is? What it is. As long as we get this moment where they have the little Baby Jane ringlet curls, that's all I care about. This is like, you know, curl porn. Yes, yeah, so good. <sighs> now, this wig has a backstory to it, okay? Now, for those of you who do not know, I originally got inspired to do the Bob the Drag Queen wig because so many people were commenting on my videos how I should recreate it because it got a lot of buzz from her purse first impressions. This wig that Bob was wearing, which is like, you know, a brassy color on the bottom and a very copper color on top. And like people were just dogging her out for this wig, saying it was like the ugliest thing in the world. And she just started going with it. So when I got word of it, I thought, well, that'd be fun. Let's recreate it. And honestly, like, because of you guys, like I got inspired to do it. <laughs> where Bob liked the fact that I remade it, that she sent me the original after she had said, after a certain point when she reached a subscriber threshold, she sent it, but she sent it to me anyway, cause she just thought it'd be a fun video. So I got the original one, the OG one, after I, you know, after I'd already recreated it. And we already did a video like that with, and we did two videos then. So we did one where I recreated it and I did one where I actually restyled the legitimate wig and completely transformed it. And I was actually really happy with how it came out. Like it is so pretty. And it was, like, honestly, if I had to speak truthfully about this, I didn't think the wig was bad. Like I thought it was kind of cute. Like, I don't know. I have a heart for wigs and as far, especially like different wigs. Like, I don't know. When it comes to it and different people rocking them, if you got the style and you could pull it off, you could pull it off and Bob could pull that off. But I digress. Now we are getting to the third in this video. We are going to be making the most elevated, most iconic variant of this wig, okay? It's got more variants than the coronavirus at this point. <laughs> There's three now that are going to exist in this world, which many would say is three too many, but I don't care. Now, I also curled off camera the red wig that we're going to use as the top piece for this, because we gotta combine these. That's how she looks so far. It's a little like, you know, a strawberry blonde Betty Page. This is her so far with the curls for our bottom wig for the base. Now we just gotta take our red one and combine it. This is our red topper piece. So I'm gonna try my best to basically like play Legos here and try and combine them. Cause we gotta like put it right on top in order to make this wig as it's supposed to look. So I'm trying to match it up best as possible. I'm only doing bobby pins for the video's sake. I will probably sew it so it's more permanent. All right, it's looking like it's pretty lined up, right? I'm gonna do the back, but first things first, we have to add a stuffer to this wig because the original wig had a stuffer in it, so we're gonna make a stuffer right now. I have here a little black wig cap, like a little net one, a netted wig cap like that, just like the one she had. We're gonna tie off a knot at the end, like so. It's getting very instructional right now. <laughs> this is a, you know, run of the mill, just an easy little stuffer. You could use a donut or anything like that, but. If you got polyfill and one of these things, might as well just use this stuff. Found materials, right? Ugh. Now, polyfill, teddy bear stuffing. This is an old school drag technique. 
to get an easy little stuffer going. A little donut, a little bump. Some girls use like full wigs and stuff, but that's so heavy. I like this method because it's really lightweight. I know some girls also, myself included, have done this. They use like bags and stuff, but that can get really noisy. This is nice and it doesn't make a whole lot of noise. And you can adjust the size of it, which is always good. Lightweight, just like that, a little donut bump. That's lift it up and do some hair surgery. This is old school technique, baby. Look at that, it's inside of the wig. Take it, put it inside like that. And now we just find a good spot on the head and we pin it in. I reached that one point. This is one of those solid cap wigs, so like it's really hard to puncture through. So I gotta really jam them in there and make sure I hook everything because otherwise they just slide right out. Oh my God, get in there. <laughs> it's already coming together. It almost looks like a hairstyle already. <laughs> I hate it so much, yes. <laughs> okay, let's take our curls down and see how they join together. It's already starting to look like her. Now, like, I'm trying to figure out like what this color combo reminds me of. Like, it's almost like very like B-52s-ish. Especially when it's got this big, like, you know, curl pattern to it. <laughs> yes, okay. This is fantastic. This is fabulous. I love this. Okay. Y'all are not ready for this. And it's almost like a chic downtown ass kind of hairstyle when you look at it. Like how she's coming along. Y'all can't take her. Oh, y'all can't take her. Oh my God. <laughs> Lady Bunny if she did a copper rinse on top. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now what we have to do is adjust the bangs a little bit because she also had like blonde coming through in the front. Oh my gosh, it's also a little Tina Burner-ish with this color combo, like the blonde and the red. <laughs> it's giving like a Tina Burner kind of vibe. Now I'm gonna fuss around with it a little bit to make it a little more secure and I'll be right back and we'll start styling her. <laughs> All right, now it's time to start styling her. Let's see, I'm trying to think what I wanna do with her. I'm gonna add, definitely add some teasing here because we have to like factor in some of the blonde bangs. So I have to tease away some of this really, really dense red bang so that we get more of that stripiness because we still want the essence of this wig to be here. It just has to look like, you know, she finally got the budget of, you know, her own film. Before it was for the stage, now it's for, you know, film. This is her, you know, her movie being made about her life with some beautiful ingenue playing Bob in this wig. <laughs> Comment down below who you think that would be. You know, the Roberta the drag queen story. We're getting the streakiness happening here in the front because it has to have that like mixture. And I'm being careful with the teasing because with human hair, like I said before, like it can lose the curl pattern right away the second you start putting a lot of intense teasing into it and fussing with it. Like the second you start brushing through it, the curls are really going to go away. And I'm just putting light teasing in because human hair will just tease up like, like that. No problem whatsoever. She's giving her a little boost. She's already got the bump in there. So we don't got to go too crazy with the teasing. <laughs> She's already starting to serve a bit of like a Peg Bundy-ish kind of vibe. We're going to be a little careful because with the two color situation, it can get a little crazy when you start doing the teasing. So let's just play it by ear here. But I'm having a blast because I love this wig and I love the many lives that this wig has had. And the fact that there's now going to be three out there in the world, people are not going to know what to do. <laughs> Mass panic will start. If you hear the sirens going off outside, it's because this wig is being made right now. You heard it here first. This is not a drill. This wig is happening. And it's stronger than ever. All right, now we're doing the bump right now. Just doing it one se little section at a time, because like I said, don't need that much teasing. <laughs> Looking at this, it's sort of like a bionic ginger spice kind of moment. <laughs> Just trying to rack my brain like who all has hair like this. And only a few people, Bob being one of them, I can think of that spring to mind. Like who wears this color combination? Bob the Drag Queen, Ginger Spice, and the Heat Miser. Look at this, I might only need to do like the top of the head and just a little bit in sections in the blonde because the red is really where all the height is. Whew, okay, she's almost done. Just gonna tease up a few sections here and just start brushing through her to get a style going. But she got big, that's for sure. <laughs> That's how she looks so far. <laughs> it's a bit cousin it, but we'll make it work. Okay, we got the height going. Now he's got to put it all together. She's giving off a very like Barbarella, so like Barbarella. 
<laughs> that's what we're gonna name her. I never really named the other wigs. Like, Bob, what do you what did you name the original wig? Like, what's her name? Because like the one I styled her into is sort of like, you know, a dreams girl, a dream girly, like Aretha Franklin kind of barrel curl style, like classic Aretha in the 60s. Like, and the second one was like Barbarella, like the one I made with the big, you know, bouffant and everything. So this one's getting close there. She's like Valley of the Dolls esque. Very much like that, but human. So, you know, she's expensive. You know, she is giving Priscilla Presley ginger spice if she existed in the 60s in a girl group. Oh, that's combining beautifully. Oh, I love that. Little swirl of orange mixed in there. That's gorgeous. Oh, I am loving this. Y'all, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I'm liking it way too much. A little more blonde. Oh, just work her through. Really play with those curls. Tell a story. And the story is, my colorist hates me. <laughs> Add a little more character to the front. And I love this, because I've seen Bob do this too, where like, she's taken pieces of it and like tied it back like that to like, make it an updo. Like, <laughs> I can't wait to see what shenanigans this thing gets into. <laughs> Raise her up a bit. Like, she's so fun. I'm having fun with this. I just gotta correct these bangs a little bit because they're a little wonky. But other than that, like the story is coming together. And I'm loving the way this orange and the yellow is swirling together. And I'm loving that I didn't have to do that much teasing to it. So if she wants to take it down, she can. Or if ever, if ever another hairstylist is brave enough to take this hair on and try and put a new style under her, you know, I'm making it easy on you. Yeah, we just need to trim the bangs a little bit. Little sections here that are too long. Can't take her. She looks like a 60s ginger spice. Oh my God. All right, I'm not gonna fuss around anymore because if I fuss around anymore, I'm gonna ruin it. We're just gonna accept when it's perfect, okay? I'll be right back with the final result because I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. Oh my God, it's a glamour <laughs> overload. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, I'm kind of in love with it. You know, like when you stare perfection in the face, you just accept it, okay? And this is where we're at right now. <laughs> It's like the glossy, high budget Hollywood lifetime movie version of, you know, the Bob the Drag Queen wig. <laughs> I'm living. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, in Hairspray the remake, like when you see like Tracy come out with her hair all done up like that and it's all glossy and veneer and nice, like it's very that right now. <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much. I almost don't want to send it to Bob. I'm kidding, I'll send it to her because it's, it's such a moment. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And thank you all so much for reviving this wig and letting me know that she wore it on the pit stop. Like that's such a, <laughs> it's such a moment for me to even know that she's still wearing it. I just thought it would just be tucked into a closet and never see the light of day again. So the fact that these wigs keep making the rounds is just hysterical to me. And now there's a third one in the universe. You're welcome. It's multiplying. It's like gremlins. Yes. She's human. That's right. She's back and she's stronger than ever. This is wild. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, adios. Now hit the outro. Click here to crash the Trixie Motel opening party. Or so you bake a cinnamon toast crunch cake. Come on, you know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make a fourth wig like this. So click it.